And hello from Stuttgart. Delighted to be able to report that the regulars behind the goal and the Cannstatter Kurve are in place as usual. We're at the Mercedes-Benz Arena. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It is Stuttgart facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And so the battle commences. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Mats Hummel starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. A very good tackle. Well, it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable, and we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Well, he's lost the ball. Sasha Kalajic. It's with Daniel Didavi. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Zitavi. Wataru Endo. It's with Daniel Zitavi. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Timely intervention. Holland. Holland. And it is a Dortmund corner. Mark Oliver Kempf. Sasha Kalajic. Mongala. Zitavi. Well, nicely cut out. Rice. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. It looks promising. This could level it. Mongala. It's with Daniel Didavi. Could be dangerous. High quality defending. Well, Dortmund just can't dominate the possession. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, They've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Koulibaly. 
Mavropanos is with Aurel Mongala and fed forwards. Has someone to play it to. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Looking for the angle. And turned onto the woodwork. Taken short. Surely the equaliser. And a goal to square the game. Into the seat stuff. Well, let's take another look. And it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. So the ball is rolling again at one all. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. Well, the touch map tells us everything. He just hasn't been able to get on the ball in dangerous positions. Yes, he's been well marked, but he has to do a lot more to find space, I think. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Hummers. And Bellingham. Can they find a gap in the defence? Daniel Malen. Now he must favour the cross. And he did what he had to do defensively. Mongala. It's with Daniel Didavi. Reina has it. Holland might go ahead and it's in the back and front stunning scenes here well it's a goal you'd expect him to score but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely he'll be happy with that business in this match and Borussia Dortmund hold the lead so a half an hour remaining Sasha Kalajic and whipped into the box well they haven't overcome all the difficulties and problem solved for now. Can they hit on the break? And he read it well. Well, no surprise there. The hosts have enjoyed most of the possession, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. 
and he read it superbly Holland well if only he had timed his run slightly better offside They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Kalajic. Successfully cut out. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Holland. And Bellingham. He's protecting it effectively. Well, I have to say, these fans have been excellent. They still believe they're going to get back into this. Endo. A deft clearance. Ten minutes to go. And given away by Dortmund. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And Royce might be in. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. Well, let's have another look. It's a wonderful bit of interplay to start the move off. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Mongala. On the ball, Mavropanos. Mark Oliver Kemp. It's with Daniel Didavi. Corner coming up. Dortmund will go to the bench. And there's the delivery. Well, no end product. Defensive efficiency personified. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. Well, a fine performance from Erling Haaland. Really in line with what we expected, I think. Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played a major part in their win here today.